Part 19, Chapter 25, Al-Fukan, The Discrimination And those who look not for meeting with us say, Why have not angels been sent down to us? Or why do we not see our Lord? Indeed, they are too proud of themselves and revolt in great revolt. On the day when they will see the angels, there will be no good news for the guilty. And they will say, Let there be a strong barrier, and we shall turn to the work they have done, so we shall render it as scattered motes. The owners of the garden will on that day be in a better abiding place and a fairer resting place. And on the day when the heaven bursts asunder with clouds and the angels are sent down as they are sent, the kingdom on that day rightly belongs to the beneficent and it will be a hard day for the disbelievers. And on the day when the wrongdoer will bite his hands, saying, Would that I had taken away with the messenger. O oh, woe is me! Would that I had not taken such a one for a friend. Certainly he led me astray from the reminder after it had come to me, and the devil ever deserts man. And the messenger will say, My Lord, Surely my people treat this Quran as a forsaken thing, and thus have we made for every prophet an enemy from among the guilty, and sufficient is thy Lord as a guide and a helper. And those who disbelieve say, Why has not the Quran been revealed to him all at once? Thus, that we may strengthen thy heart thereby, and we have arranged it well in arranging. And they cannot bring thee a question, but we have brought thee the truth and the best explanation. Those who will be gathered to hell on their faces, they are in an evil plight and straying farther away from the path. And certainly we gave Moses the book, and we appointed with him his brother Aaron, an aider. Then we said, Go you both to the people who reject our messages. So we destroyed them with utter destruction. And the people of Noah, when they rejected the messengers, we drowned them and made them a sign for men. And we have prepared a painful chastisement for the wrongdoers and Ad and Thamud, and the dwellers of Raz, and many generations in between. And to each we gave examples, and each did we destroy with utter destruction. And indeed they passed by the town, wherein was reigned an evil reign. Do they not see it? Nay, they hope not to be raised again. And when they see thee, they take thee for naught but a jest. Is this he whom Allah raised to be a messenger? He had well nigh led us astray from our gods, had we not adhered to them patiently. And they will know, when they see the chastisement, who is more astray from the path. Hast thou seen him who takes his low desires for his God? Wilt thou be a guardian over him? Or thinkest thou that most of them hear or understand? They are but the cattle, nay, they are farther astray from the path. Seest thou not how thy Lord extends the shade? And if he pleased, he would have made it stationary. Then we have made the sun an indication of it. Then we take it to ourselves, taking little by little. And he it is who made the night a covering for you, and sleep a rest, and he made the day to rise up again, 
and he it is who sends the winds as good news before his mercy. And we sent down pure water from the clouds, that we may give life thereby to a dead land, and give it for drink to cattle and many people that we have created. And certainly we repeat this to them that they might be mindful, but most men consent to naught but denying. And if we pleased, we could raise a warner in every town. So obey not the disbelievers, and strive against them a mighty striving with it. And he it is who has made the two seeds to flow freely, the one sweet, very sweet, and the other saltish, bitter. And between the two he has made a barrier, an inviolable obstruction, and he it is who has created man from water. Then he has made for him blood relationship and marriage relationship, and thy Lord is ever powerful, and they serve besides Allah that which can neither profit them nor harm them, and the disbeliever is ever an aider against his Lord. And we have not sent thee, but as a giver of good news, and as a warner. Say, I ask of you naught in return for it, except he who will may take a way to his Lord. And rely on the ever-living who dies not, and celebrate his praise, and sufficient is he as being aware of his servant's sins, and who created the heavens and the earth and what is between them in six periods, and he is established on the throne of power, the beneficent. So ask respecting him one aware. And when it is said to them, make obeisance to the beneficent, they say, and what is the beneficent? Shall we make obeisance to what thou biddest us? And it adds to their aversion, prostration. Blessed is he who made the stars in the heaven and made therein a sun and a moon giving light. And he it is who made the night and the day to follow each other. For him who desires to be mindful or desires to be thankful, and the servants of the beneficent are they who walk on the earth in humility. And when the ignorant address them, they say, Peace. And they who pass the night prostrating themselves before their Lord in standing. And they who say, Our Lord, avert from us the chastisement of hell. Surely the chastisement thereof is a lasting evil. It is surely an evil abode and resting place. And they who, when they spend, are neither extravagant nor parsimonious, and the just mean is ever between these, and they who call not upon God with Allah, and slay not the soul which Allah has forbidden, except in the cause of justice, nor commit fornication, and he who does this shall meet the requital of sin. The chastisement will be doubled to him on the day of resurrection, and he will abide therein in abasement, except him who represents and believes and does good deeds, for such Allah changes their evil deeds to good ones, and Allah is ever forgiving, merciful, and whoever repents and does good he surely turns to Allah a goodly turning. And they who witness no falsehood 
And when they pass by what is vain, they pass by nobly. And they who when reminded of the messages of their Lord fall not down thereat deaf and blind. And they who say, Our Lord, grant us in our wives and our offspring the joy of our eyes and make us leaders for those who guard against evil. These are rewarded the high places because they are patient and are met therein with greetings and salutation, abiding therein. Goodly the abode and the resting place. Say, my Lord would not care for you were it not for your prayer. Now indeed you have rejected, so the punishment will come. Chapter 28 al Ara, the Poets In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful Beningen, Hearing, Knowing God These are the verses of the book that make manifest. Perhaps thou wilt kill thyself with grief because they believe not. If we please, we could send down on them a sign from heaven so that their necks would bend before it. And there comes not to them a new reminder from the beneficent, but they turn away from it. They indeed reject, so the news will soon come to them of that at which they mock. See they not the earth, how many of every noble kind we cause to grow in it? Surely in this is a sign, yet most of them believe not, and surely thy Lord is the mighty, the manifest. And when thy Lord called Moses, saying, Go to the iniquitous people, the people of Pharaoh, will they not guard against evil? He said, My Lord, I fear that they will reject me, and my breast straightens, and my tongue is not eloquent. So send for Aaron too, and they have a crime against me, so I fear that they will kill me. He said, By no means. So go, you both, with our signs. Surely we are with you, hearing. Then come to Pharaoh and say, We are bearers of a message of the Lord of the worlds. Send with us the children of Israel. Pharaoh said, Did we not bring thee up as a child among us? And thou didst tarry many years of thy life among us? And thou didst that deed of thine, which thou didst, and thou art of the ungrateful ones. He said, I did it then, when I was of those who err. So I fled from you when I feared you. Then my Lord granted me judgment and made me of the messengers. And it is a favor of which thou remindest me that thou hast enslaved the children of Israel. Pharaoh said, And what is the Lord of the worlds? He said, The Lord of the heavens and the earth, and what is between them, if you would be sure. Pharaoh said to those around him, Do you hear not? He said, Your Lord and the Lord of your fathers of old. Pharaoh said, Surely your messenger who is sent to you is mad. He said, The Lord of the east and the west and what is between them if you have any sense. Pharaoh said, If thou takest a God besides me, I will certainly put thee in prison. He said, Even if I show thee something plain, Pharaoh said, Show it, then if thou art of the truthful. So he cast down his rod, and lo, it was an obvious serpent. And he drew forth his hand, and lo, it appeared white to the beholders. Pharaoh said to the chiefs around him, Surely this is a skillful enchanter. 
who desires to turn you out of your land with his enchantment. What is it then that you counsel? They said, Give him and his brother respite, and send heralds into the city, that they may bring to thee every skillful enchanter. So the enchanters were gathered together for the appointment of a well-known day. And it was said to the people, Will you gather together? Happily we may follow the enchanters if they are the vanquishers. So when the enchanters came, they said to Pharaoh, Will there be a reward for us if we are the vanquishers? He said, Yes, and surely you will then be of those who are nearest to me. Moses said to them, Cast what you are going to cast. So they cast down their cords and their rods and said, By Pharaoh's power, we shall most surely be victorious. Then Moses cast down his rod, and lo, it swallowed up their fabrication. And the enchanters were thrown down, prostrate. They said, We believe in the Lord of the worlds, the Lord of Moses and Aaron. Pharaoh said, You believe in him before I give you leave? Surely he is the chief of you who taught you enchantment. So you shall know, certainly I will cut off your hands and your feet on opposite sides, and I will crucify you all. They said, No harm. Surely to our Lord we return. We hope that our Lord will forgive us our wrongs, because we are the first of the believers. And we reveal to Moses, saying, Travel by night with my servants. You will be pursued. And Pharaoh sent heralds into the cities, proclaiming, These are indeed a small band, and I, and they have surely enraged us, and we are truly a vigilant multitude. So we turn them out of gardens and springs and treasures and goodly dwellings, even so, and we gave them as a heritage to the children of Israel. Then they pursued them at sunrise. So when the two hosts saw each other, the companions of Moses cried out, Surely we are overtaken. He said, By no means. Surely my Lord is with me. He will guide me. Then we revealed to Moses, March on to the sea with thy staff. So it parted, and each party was like a huge mound. And there we brought near the others, and we saved Moses and those with him all. Then we drowned the others. Surely there is a sign in this, yet most of them believe not. And surely thy Lord is the mighty, the merciful. And recite to them the story of Abraham, when they said to his sire and his people, What do you worship? They said, We worship idols, so we shall remain devoted to them. He said, Do they hear you when you call on them? Or do they benefit or harm you? They said, Nay, we found our fathers doing so. He said, Do you then see what you worship, you and your ancient sires? Surely they are an enemy to me. But not so the Lord of the worlds, who created me. Then he shows me the way, and who gives me to eat and to drink. And when I am sick, he heals me. And who will cause me to die, then give me life? And who I hope will forgive me my mistakes on the day of judgment? My Lord, grant me wisdom. And join me with the righteous, and ordain for me a goodly mention in later generations, and make me of the heirs of the garden of bliss, and forgive my sire, surely he is of the erring ones, and disgrace me not 
on the day when they are raised, in the day when wealth will not avail, nor sons, save him who comes to Allah with a sound heart, and the garden is brought near for the dutiful, and hail is made manifest to the deviators. And it is said to them, Where are those that you worship besides Allah? Can they help you or help themselves? So they are hurled into it, they and the deviators, and the hosts of the devils all. They will say, while they quarrel therein, By Allah, we were certainly in manifest error when we made you equal with the Lord of the worlds, and none but the guilty led us astray. So we have no intercessors, nor a true friend. Now if we could but once return, we would be believers. Surely there is a sign in this, yet most of them believe not. And surely thy Lord is the mighty, the merciful. The people of Noah rejected the messengers. When their brother Noah said to them, Will you not guard against evil? Surely I am a faithful messenger to you. So keep your duty to Allah and obey me. And I ask of you no reward for it. My reward is only with the Lord of the worlds. So keep your duty to Allah and obey me. And they said, Shall we believe in thee and the meanest follow thee? He said, And what knowledge have I of what they did? Their reckoning is only with my Lord, if you but perceive. And I am not going to drive away the believers. I am only a plain warner. They said, If thou desist not, O Noah, thou wilt certainly be stoned to death. He said, My Lord, my people, give me the lie. So judge thou between me and them openly, and deliver me and the believers who are with me. So we delivered him and those with him in the late nark. Then we drowned the rest afterwards. Surely there is a sign in this. Yet most of them believe not. And surely thy Lord is the mighty, the merciful. Odd gave the lie to the messengers when their brothers Hud said it to them, Will you not guard against evil? Surely I am a faithful messenger to you. So keep your duty to Allah and obey me. And I ask of you no reward for it. Surely my reward is only with the Lord of the worlds. Do you build on every height a monument? You only sport and you make fortresses that you might abide. And when you seize, you seize as tyrants. So keep your duty to Allah and obey me. And keep your duty to him who aids you with that which you know. He aids you with cattle and children and gardens and fountains. Surely I fear for you the chastisement of a grievous day. They said, It is the same to us when thou admonish, or art not one of the admonishers. This is naught but a fabrication of the ancients, and we will not be chastised. So they rejected him. When we destroyed them, surely there is a sign in this, yet most of them believe not. And surely thy Lord is the mighty, the merciful. Thamud gave the lie to the messengers. When their brother Sali said to them, Will you not guard against evil? Surely I am a faithful messenger to you. So keep your duty to Allah and obey me. And I ask of you no reward for it. My reward is only with the Lord of the worlds. Will you be left secure in what is here, in gardens and fountains 
and cornfields and palm trees having fine flower spikes. And you hew houses out of the mountains exultingly. So keep your duty to Allah and obey me and obey not the bidding of the extravagant who make mischief in the land and act not aright. They said, Thou art only a deluded person. Thou art not but a mortal like ourselves. So bring a sign if thou art truthful. He said, This is a she-camel. She has her portion of water. And you have your portion of water at an appointed time. And touch her not with evil, lest the chastisement of a grievous day overtake you. But they hamstrung her, then regret it. So the chastisement overtook them. Surely there is a sign in this, yet most of them believe not. And surely thy Lord is the mighty, the merciful. The people of Lot gave the lie to the messengers. When their brother Lot said to them, Will you not guard against evil? Surely I am a faithful messenger to you. So keep your duty to Allah and obey me. And I ask of you no reward for it. My reward is only with the Lord of the worlds. Do you come to the males from among the creatures and leave your wives whom your Lord has created for you? Nay, you are a people exceeding the limits. They said, If thou desist not, O Lot, thou will surely be banished. He said, Surely I abhor what you do. My Lord, deliver me and my followers from what they do. So we delivered him and his followers all, except an old woman among those who remained behind. Then we destroyed the others, and we rained on them a rain, and evil was the rain on those warned. Surely there is a sign in this. Yet most of them believe not, and surely thy Lord is the mighty, the merciful. The dwellers of the grove gave the lie to the messengers. When Shu'ab said to them, Will you not guard against evil? Surely I am a faithful messenger to you. So keep your duty to Allah and obey me. And I ask of you no reward for it. My reward is only with the Lord of the worlds. Give full measure, and be not of those who diminish, and weigh with a true balance, and wrong not men of their dues, and act not corruptly in the earth, making mischief, and keep your duty to him who created you and the former generations. They said, Thou art only a deluded person, and thou art not but a mortal like ourselves, and we deem thee to be a liar. So cause a portion of the heaven to fall on us, if thou art truthful. He said, My Lord knows best what you do. But they rejected him, so the chastisement of the day of covering overtook them. Surely it was the chastisement of a grievous day. Surely there is a sign in this, yet most of them believe not. And surely thy Lord is the mighty, the merciful. And surely this is a revelation from the Lord of the worlds. The faithful spirit has brought it. On thy heart that thou mayest be a warner in plain Arabic language, and surely the same is in the scriptures of the ancients. Is it not a sign to them that the learned men of the Christian correction? Is it not a sign to them that the learned men of the children of Israel know it? And if we had revealed it to any of the foreigners, and he had read it to them, 
and they would not have believed in it. Thus do we cause it to enter into the hearts of the guilty. They will not believe in it till they see the painful chastisement. So it will come to them suddenly, while they perceive not. Then they will say, Shall we be respited? Do they still seek to hasten on our chastisement? Seest thou, if we let them enjoy themselves for years, then that which they are promised comes to them. That which they were made to enjoy will not avail them. And we destroyed no town, but it had its warners to remind, and we are never unjust. And the devils have not brought it, and it behooves them not, nor have they the power to do it. Surely they are far removed from hearing it. So call not upon another God with Allah, lest thou be of those who are chastised. And warn thy nearest relations, and lower thy wing to the believers who follow thee. But if they disobey thee, say, I am clear of what you do, and rely on the mighty, the merciful, and see thee when thou standest up, and thy movements among those who prostrate themselves. Surely he is the hearing, the knowing. Shall I inform you upon whom the devils descend? They descend upon every lying, sinful one. They give ear, and most of them are liars, and the poets, the deviators, follow them. Seest thou not that they wander in every valley, and that they say that which they do not, except those who believe and do good? And remember Allah much, and defend themselves after they are oppressed. And they who do wrong will know to what final place of turning they will turn back. Chapter 27 Al Nam, the Nalam. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Benign hearing God. These are the verses of the Quran and the book that make manifest a guidance and a good news for the believers who keep up prayer and pay the poor rate, and they are sure of the hereafter. Those who believe not in the hereafter, we make their deeds fair seeming to them, but they blindly wander on. These are they for whom is an evil chastisement. And in the hereafter, they are the greatest losers. And thou art surely made to receive the Quran from the wise, the knowing. When Allah, correction, when Moses said to his family, Surely I see a fire. I will bring you news thence and bring you therefrom a burning brand, so that you may warn yourselves. And when he came to it, a voice issued, saying, Blessed is he who is in search of fire, and those around it, and glory be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. O Moses, surely I am Allah, the mighty, the wise, and cast down thy rod, So when he saw it in motion, as if it were a serpent, he turned back retreating and did not return. O Moses, fear not. Surely the messengers fear not in my presence. Nor he who does wrong, then does good instead of after evil. Surely I am forgiving, merciful. And put thy hand into thy bosom, and it will come forth white without evil among nine signs to Pharaoh and his people. Surely they are a transgressing people. So when our clear signs came to them, they said, This is clear enchantment. And they denied them unjustly and proudly 
while their souls were convinced of them. See then, what was the end of the mischief makers? And certainly we gave knowledge to David and Solomon. And they said, Praise be to Allah, who has made us excel many of his believing servants. And Solomon was David's heir. And he said, O men, we have been taught the speech of birds, and we have been granted of all things. Surely this is manifest grace. And his hosts of the jinn and the men and the birds were gathered to Solomon, and they were formed into groups, until when they came to the valley of the Nam, and the Namlite said, O Nam, enter your houses, lest Solomon and his hosts crush you, while they know not. So he smiled, wondering at her word, and said, My Lord, grant me that I may be granted for thy favor, which thou hast bestowed on me and on my parents, and that I may do good, such as thou art pleased with, and admit me by thy mercy among thy righteous servants. And he reviewed the birds, then said, How is it I see not Hudhud, or is it that he is one of the absentees? And I will surely punish him with a severe punishment, or kill him, or he shall bring me a clear excuse. And he tarried not long, then said, I have compassed that which thou hast compassed, and I have come to thee from Saba, which surely with sure information. I found a woman ruling over them, and she has been given of everything, and she has a mighty throne. I found her and her people adoring the sun instead of Allah, and the devil has made their deeds fair seeming to them, and turned them from the way, so they go not aright, so that they worship not Allah, who brings forth what is hidden in the heavens and the earth, and knows what you hide and what you proclaim. Allah, there is no God but He, the Lord of the throne, the Lord of the mighty throne. Prostration. He said, We shall see whether thou speakest the truth, or whether thou art a liar. Take this, my letter, and hand it over to them. Then turn from them and see what answer they return. She said, O chiefs, an honorable letter has been delivered to me. It is from Solomon, and it is in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, proclaiming, Exalt not yourselves against me, and come to me in submission. She said, O chiefs, advise me respecting my affair. I never decide an affair until you are in my presence. They said, We are possessors of strength and possessors of mighty prowess, and the command is thine. So consider what thou... Correction. And the command is thine, so consider what thou wilt command. And she said, Surely the kings, when they enter a town, ruin it, and make the noblest of its people to be low. And thus they do. And surely I am going to send them a present, and to see what answer the messengers bring back. So when the envoy came to Solomon, he said, Will you help me with wealth? But what Allah has given me is better than that which he has given you. Nay, you are exultant because of your present. Go back to them. So we shall certainly come to them with hosts which they have no power to oppose, and we shall certainly expel them therefrom 
in disgrace while they are abased. So he said, O chiefs, which of you can bring me her throne before they come to me in submission? One audacious among the gin said, I will bring it to thee before thou raise up from among thy place, and surely I am strong, trusty for it. One having knowledge of the book said, I will bring it to thee in the twinkling of an eye. Then when he saw it settled beside him, he said, This is the grace of my Lord, that he may try me whether I am grateful or ungrateful. And whoever is grateful, he is grateful only for his own soul. And whoever is ungrateful, then surely my Lord is self-sufficient, bountiful. He said, Alter her throne for her. We may see whether she follows the right way, or is of those who go not aright. So when she came, it was said, Was thy throne like this? She said, It is as it were the same, and we were given the knowledge before about it, and we submitted. And that which she worshipped besides Allah prevented her, for she was of a disbelieving people. So it was said to her, Enter the palace. But when she saw it, she deemed it to be a great expanse of water and prepared herself to meet the difficulty. He said, Surely, it is a palace made smooth with glass. She said, My Lord, surely I have wronged myself. And I submit with Solomon to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. And certainly we sent to Thamud and their brother Salah, saying, Serve Allah. Then lo, they became two parties contending. He said, O oh, my people, why do you hasten on the evil before the good? Why do you not ask forgiveness of Allah so that you may have mercy? They said, We augur evil for thee and those with thee. He said, Your evil augury is with Allah. Nay, you are a people who are tried. And there were in the city nine persons who made mischief in the land and did not act aright. They said, Swear one to another by Allah that we shall attack him and his family by night. Then we shall say to their heir, We witness not the destruction of his family, and we are surely truthful. And they planned a plan, and we planned a plan, while they perceived not. And then what was the evil of their plan, that we destroyed them, and their people, all of them. So those are their houses fallen down, because they were iniquitous. Surely there is a sign in this for a people who know, and we deliver those who who believed and kept their duty. And Lot, when he said to his people, Do you commit foul deeds while you see? Will you come to men lustfully rather than women? Nay, you are a people who act ignorantly. But the answer of his people was not, except that they said, Drive out Lot's followers, from your town, surely they are a people who would keep pure. But we delivered him and his followers, except his wife. We ordained her to be of those who remained behind, and we rained on them a rain. So evil was the rain on those who had been warned. Say praise be to Allah, and peace on his servants whom he has chosen. Is Allah better, or what they associate with him? 
May Allah bless the reading of his word.